WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and I can't believe my eyes. We have a sea of green. No mixed bag in the indices out there. You got the Dow up 23 points. S&P's up 12. Nasdaq's up 50. Russell's up 4. Semis are up 72. Tranny's up 11. You've got gold trading out at 2381. That's up 14 bucks. Silver's up it's basically flat at 3077. Lights Recruit is up 48 cents. 8189 is the print there. You've got uh, natural gas down about two cents. The 30 Treasury up two ticks. Print out at 11815. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. What do we know about it? Well, on this chart here, it shows us that we are in an A to B equals CD pattern of the upside with an initial price projection of 5678. However, I believe we're in bar number nine today. We'll have to take a look at the ES Mini. Well, may actually, the ES Mini is not, but we'll take a look at that in any event. So the ES Mini is suggesting to you and I wants to target 5678. As long as the uh, uh, spot volatility remains below its 50-day, that is a likely outcome. The 50 days at 1296. You've got the NQ that is trading and targeting this 1.272. A to B equals CD expansion mode, that's 2937, but there may be a TD9 count top that's going to get in the way of that. The U.S. dollar index trading in between support and resistance. Support is the bottom of its weekly profile. That's at at the uh, 104.52 level resists all the way up at 105. 80. Take a look at uh, gold. Gold is taken on the top of its daily profile. The top of that profile is at 2382. If price can clear 2382, it'll run up towards its next junior consolidation with inside its senior consolidation, and that would be a move up towards the uh, 2406 level. If you close above 2406, you get up to the top of the consolidation in the 2470 area. If you take a look at silver, still running into descending trend line resistance out there. So now that trend line is a key area of resistance resistance. In the case of light sweet crude, pulling back into its buy zone of its bull structure daily profile, that's between 8061 and 8148. A close today above 8148 could take us all the way back up to the top of the profile, and that's at the 8409 area. We've got a TD9 count bottom inside of natural gas, but it's struggling to get inside its daily profile. And that would need a close today above 2.371. If it doesn't do that, the TD9 count bottom is simply... Well, it's under pressure. And if we take a look at the 30-year Treasury out there, you just got a consolidation with price really running into resistance at the bottom portion of its sell zone, which is at 119.07. The top portion, that's at 120.20. Odds favor a pullback to the 116.13 area. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. Thanks for joining us, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.